not see it going this way, Ron. I'll be honest. Yeah, I didn't even. He, he may finish Heinisch. He's Heinisch has yeah, tapped yeah, out. What an upset here tonight. I sacrificed my whole summer for that fight, and I didn't get to showcase anything, and it was devastating. I think I won 14 fights in a row, and you just get this. You kind of take it for granted, you know, when you win and you just expect it. Were you more amped up going into that fight than, than usual because there was so much on the line? Um, I, I think the pressure was there, and I, I like to say pressure, you know, it fuels me, but I, I guess this time it kind of hurt me. Ian, nobody goes undefeated in mixed martial arts, so it's bound to happen. Mentally, though, where is your mind coming off that first defeat? It was tough, you know, so many doubts and things go through your head, but um, I'm using it to uh, fuel my fire, and I feel great right now. I feel the most focused, I'm calm. When I look back at it, I mean, I just think good. Like, I'm glad it happened. It's probably the best thing that could be in my career right now. When anything bad happens in my life, I kind of just go back and think about my entire life. And I'm like, man, I've been way lower. And every time I fail, it gives me more information on how to succeed. You have to be willing to fail a thousand times for something you want. The good life makes you soft. And, and when you start getting a taste of that, you have to like refocus, sharpen that sword again, sharpen that edge and, and keep that edge because that's what keeps you strong. This is my destiny. It's hard. This is not easy. This is something that you have to give your life to. I feel like I'm a new man. This is gonna be a new year, a new me.